ability once he pops his ultimate. And a very stylistic mismatch between these two compositions. The one side, you have a very poke-heavy, kite-heavy uh, fanatic that's really good at walking back. Think of Ezreal's Mystic Shots. Think of Morgana's Dark Bindings. Think of Cho'Gath's kite potential if he lands those ruptures. At the same time, Gambit, they want to go in. They want to go hard. They want to pop on the hunt and dive in. And we'll see whether or not they can find those fights, Crepo. We're loading up onto the Rift for the first game of the day. As Gambit at 0 and 3. Half. Fierce advantage top, though, which is continuing to play into his favor. Silence comes out into the Rupture, and that's what so Cho'Gath wants to do. Rupture is easily dodged, but or flash, but if you can silence, then Rupture ahead of your opponent. Either he'll get hit by the Rupture or juke back into your jungler following up. Rupture lands. Wow, this time around it does. Silence lands. Silence come out as well. Rainover's looking for another knockup. Kaba shot instantly flashing. First blood to Rainover, and that just looked really quite easy. And finally, Fnatic pieced together the puzzle, but Diamond Prox, he wants revenge on the bot lane. Reckless Flash is up, though. Well, Yellowstar does not manage to get off the Black Shield. That's very, very late. Gosu Pepper throws down the Unbreakable Will. He's, in fact, been exhausted, as has Reckless. Rainover was trying to cut off Diamond, and Reckless gets the second kill of the game. Diamond Fnatic. Doesn't have level 11. He's going in for Betsy. Betsy gets knocked under the tower once more. It's the same combo. What a fantastic binding from Yellowstar. Read the play by Febiv and Febiv said, hey, look at this. I'm going to go in, shuffle him back, prep your binding. This is Synergy. They've done this before. This is not the first time they've played these champions together. And now we see why Azir has been banned against Febiv in several events. Yellowstar might be finding himself between a fat man and an angry bull. Pulverized up, barreled back, and headbutted for further distance. That's going to be a dead yellow star. Betsy. I think he's in trouble, Crepo. I think so too. What CC can land? Soul Shackles comes out. I think he broke the tether, though. Not going to be enough. Yeah, ran over with a beautiful flash knockup after the first spirit rush was used. Things going on on the bot lane. We're going to see some action. Reckless caught. Well, he does manage to flash away. Here comes Rain over. That's a flash forward from Cabo Shot. The knockup keeps Cabo Shot in place. A silence onto Diamond. They've traded one for one. But Huni needed his teleport for that. So advantage Gambit. For those answers. Cabo Shot's going to have to find an answer. He's got that Seraph's Embrace upgraded. Dragon. Diamond Fox going in. Reckless hiding in plain sight. Gets caught. Double knockup. Forgiven with the dunk. One, two, three, Reckless is down. Don't want to come from the front. We've seen this before. If you all come from the same angle, Azir is going to say thank you very much and push you back. Tower's dropping. Black Shield's been used from Yellowstar. Tower's going down. Gambit unable to initiate. The Flash Pulverize comes down. They get Feverfin and Reckless. Reckless gets caught by the charm. He's taken out by Betsy. Here comes the teleport from Huni. He's thrown down the silence and Diamond is knocked up. Keep your eyes on Cabo Shot. He wants to clean up the fight. Reckless is down and Gambit are going to hold on to their base for now. Oh yeah, the gun's actually on for Bivin. I haven't seen him use it that much. Oh, has it? Knock up on Cabo Shot. Huni's flashed forward. Charm. But he's alone. Eats a charm instantly. Rest of Fnatic most likely. Not gonna get there in time. On the hunt comes out. Rainover gets rooted in place. Black Cabo Shot. Cabo Shot's found Yellow Star, but Reckless and Forgiven are alive. We do see Febivin going back in with the Conquering Sand. Now Cabo Shot's knocked up. Huni looking for a target to feast. Can he find Cabo Shot? He's decided to turn around, and I think he feasted Diamond down. We see Gosu Pepper going out as Forgiven follows suit. Cabo Shot forced to run as Febivin's Sand Soldiers are commanded to attack, and they take him down. Double kill and Fnatic get a four for one fight. Fantastic fight by both these teams. Huni was running around trying to catch somebody, barely got a range, but the remaining Fnatic members did such a great job at kiting, dodging the damage, staying alive in this fight. Good Emperor's Divide to reset the fight. Reckless uses entire mana pool in that fight. And Oom. Um. Righteous Glory is available for Gosu, as is Unbreakable Will and his exhaust. Gosu's engages with those headbutts in the pole. Diamond rise. spotted on the flank, he's going in. Well, we do see the black shield. This time not gonna work. Yellow Star forced to go back, but Emperor's Divide says this lane is much thinner. Beast is used on our star. He's looking for the flank, doesn't find his target, and Rainover is now on the wrong side of the jungle. He's gonna tunnel away. That's a flash forward for Diamond Prox. He really wants Rainover's hide. And if Bosu Pepper headbutts him to Ooh. another tunnel. Small mistake, but it's very impactful. Forgiven gets taken down as Rainover re-engages with the Void Rush. He gets a knockup onto Cabo Shot, and it's Reckless that gets a double kill. Fnatic with a three for zero.
You have to watch your pacing in these fight. Gambits just go one step too far. We said earlier, we want to see them go too aggressive rather than too defensive, but Fnatic finally punish it. Fight again, so incredibly close. And with the death time, it's been 40 seconds. Fnatic have set their sights on the Nexus turrets. It looks like they can finally close this game out. Betsy, however, does land a charm. He's not done yet. It looks like he will be shortly, though. As he's gone in with the Spurro Rush, the rest of Fnatic focus down the turrets. They're focusing down the Nexus. And in week two, 0-4 given. Gambit have lost all of their games, but Fnatic have won them all. But Gambit didn't play like a bottom tier team right here. They didn't play like the 10th place team in the LCS. They, play, they came to win.